when they say they're offering you a discount, you need to make sure that and ask yourself, is this a discount for me or is this a discount for the general public who actually have money? And let's also talk about Instagram ads because the way people, these um, companies and these brands are targeting me, I'm like, are you reading my bank account statements? Because I don't get it. You believe in me up to this amount of money that you're putting on this price tag. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Enola, but you can call me the Global MC. Today is a chilled video, really. I just want to keep up the consistency that I have going on. I am so excited that I have been posting a, at least a video every week and I'm amazed. Although, I'm like, why are you guys not watching it? What do you guys want to see? Let me know, talk to me, fight for me, fight for us. I haven't heard you say you don't love me. All right, I'm gonna backtrack. Today, I'm just gonna go through some of the things that have happened in my week and just gist with you. And if you have something that you think you wanna share with me, that's what the comment sections are for. So let's get right into this video. The first thing that comes to mind when I decided, that came to mind when I decided to record a video for today was the fact that people that I'm owing money decided that they want to come and collect the money that I'm owing them, like the F1 tree. So this is what happened. When I moved here, I, I was like, okay, yes, let's do some apartment furniture shopping. Um, I reached there, see all the prices. I'm like, waiting there for Kerr for here what's going on anyway the prices were a lot and i was like okay i think what i am going to do is wait till black friday to actually furnish my house so the only room that's really furnished in my house right now in my apartment is my bedroom because obviously i need to sleep so there is a bed frame and a mattress as well as pillows obviously but I decided when I went to one of the stores, they had like a recliner that I really liked. And then the, the salesperson was like, oh yeah, if you put a $39 down payment on this chair, you can pay the rest when you have the money. And there's no time limit for when you actually have to pay the rest of the money. So please, people of God, tell me why they are sending me a text hey, Enola, you put a down payment on a chair on a recliner so-and-so days ago, months ago, really. But anyway, months ago, and we're just wondering when you may want to come and pick it up. I'm like, what do you mean when I want to come and pick it up? When I have money is when I'm going to come pick it up. But I haven't responded to that email. It's not an email, a text. I will respond and let them know that I'll pick it up maybe September or November. You know, my finances are slowly but surely, <laughs> slowly but surely getting in order and I love it. I love it for myself and I love it for my future apartment furniture. Second thing that's on my mind that I feel like I want to share with you guys is my budgeting journey because I mean, we're on the topic of money. And something that people seem to find weird is that I don't go anywhere. I'm always at home on the weekends. If one or go, if you are not paying and you expect me to pay, I will be in my house. I have a house. I have food in my house. I have a laptop. I have movies that I can watch on my laptop. I do not have a TV yet because no furniture and no TV in my house. So if you want to start a GoFundMe for me, I really appreciate it. Anyway, budgeting and why I go nowhere because I need to get this money on check, in check. I need to know that when I make a budget, I can stick with it. And one of the things that I really love about my budgeting journey so far is because it's the fact that you know a lot of people have really helped you know encourage me on saving making good decisions when it comes to money not overspending really thinking about why exactly am i buying this thing that i want to buy 
one of the things that I've absolutely cut out of my spending recently is like buying clothes. I don't, I don't, I have places to go. I guess I, I don't have places to go. I have places to go, but I don't need to buy new clothes to go to the places that I want to go. I have some really amazing clothes in my wardrobe and I'll probably show you a sneak peek of my wardrobe. It's, it's, it's cute. I love it. And so I don't need to spend so much buying new things that I do not need. And I mean, there was Amazon Prime Day the other day. And the only thing that I got from that was a really good deal on exercise shorts, which are useful to me because I was thinking about buying exercise shorts. And so I was able to get them on a discount. So when they say they're offering you a discount, you need to make sure that and ask yourself, is this a discount for me? Or is this a discount for the general public who actually have money? And let's also talk about Instagram ads because the way people, these um, companies and these brands are targeting me, I'm like, are you reading my bank account statements? Because I don't get it. You believe in me up to this amount of money that you're putting on this price tag. I must be doing more well. I must be, you know, really succeeding. But I just don't think that I'm there yet. But these brands think I'm there. I'm like, bro, no, it's not a deal for me. It's the deal for others who are actually doing the thing and who can afford it. Not me, not me, baby. And so I stay at home. If you're looking for me, you know where to find me in my house in South Bend, Indiana. Come and visit me, bring money, bring food. Everybody welcome. Something else that's on my mind uh, is just the dating pool and the dating journey and just all of those things that are just interesting, interesting experiences. Um, there was this guy that I met on Hinge. Hinge is a dating platform for anybody who does not know. And I met this person on Hinge. Lovely boy, lovely man, lovely guy. And I met him in person. Uh, for some reason, I expected him to be a li little more fleshy than he actually was. So he was very skinny. And I do not think that I like very skinny people in that way. So there was no attraction there. But I spoke to a friend and he said to give it time. So we'll see how that goes. But, you know, somebody else also introduced me to a mutual friend that she has. And so we're just going to see where the, where the road takes us because my people, love must be in the air. I declare love is in the air. In 2024, my girl got engaged and I cannot wait to celebrate with her. My darling Uche, my darling Uche is getting married this weekend and i'm unable to be there because i had no money to book a flight on time there's several layers to these issues i had no money to book a flight on time i had to wait for my visa i had do not have a visa yet and then when i got my american visa i will still have to apply for a uk visa again so all the things were just a stumbling block over my celebration with my darling sweetheart Jay. And so this is also a congratulatory message to my sister <laughs> from another mother. I love you so much and I just pray the best for you. And I'm excited to be with you in spirit and celebrate with you this weekend. So I pray you have a good day and I pray that everything works out as it ought to. And then for my darling babe, Eva baby, who got engaged and is gonna be getting married next year. Hey, all right. <laughs> I don't know what people think about when they say they are envious that they are see, like they cannot breathe when they see people showing love on the Instagram. I'm like, what do you mean you cannot breathe? Be happy for people. Be happy so you can attract the things that you're seeing into your own life. There's no need for envy, there's no need for jealousy just be genuinely happy for people and when it's your turn or when something good happens to you as well you will know that you have people who are also going to be genuinely happy for you
Capiche? So many of you know that I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm an international journalist. The joy of saying that, international journalist. <laughs> international journalist speaking. One of the stories that made me so excited this week was the one that I did on the Mandela Washington Fellows who came to um, Notre Dame, the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. There were three Nigerians um, um, in the cohort of 24 and I got to spend some time with them. I got to make friends with the Nigerians because Nigeria know they carry last. And I also got to write a really incredible story about the program as a whole, the experience at Notre Dame, and then the fellows themselves. These people are doing amazing, amazing work. And it is so important. I feel like we need to actually realize the power that is in Africa as a continent. And we need to really stop all this foolishness that i've been seeing on the news like make there's something called ease of doing business and i i know people who are who have made this their life's call to make sure that their that ease of doing business applies in africa so whatever you're doing make sure that especially if you're in government think about the ease of doing business because the world population is tilting towards Africa. The youngest people in the world in the next 10, 20, 30 years are going to be in Africa. And we do not want to see this mass migration really that already started continue at a times 10 times 20 multiplying in effect, okay? So let's really get our acts together in Africa. And I so talk about budgeting. One of the books that I've read on that topic is The Richest Man in Babylon. And I just loved the analogy about having, keeping a tenth of everything you make and, you know, just having it build up on your thigh and having that presence of the gold that you worked for, giving you a daily reminder that this is my money to do with whatever I want, but I am choosing to save it and keep it and invest it. That is joy bringing to me. I did not expect to have so much joy from saving money or just seeing the money in my savings go from glory to glory. Can I get an amen? It's going from glory to glory, over. <laughs> anyway, you cannot borrow the money. I cannot give it to you, it's mine, sorry. So just because I'm telling you that I'm gonna be rich soon, does not mean that you will not come and ask me for money. So thank you and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And of course, because I'm always in, Netflix is a constant companion. Okay. And what I'm watching, if you know me, you know I love Korean drama. And I'm watching this one called Miss Night and Day or Miss Day and Night. So fantastic. I love it. <laughs> It does give me joy and I've been watching it every weekend because I'm following it the series as all the episodes are being released, which I normally do not. I usually wait till all the episodes are released before launching into a Korean drama, but I decided otherwise because the trailer for this one was just too tempting and so I got bit. Well, it's been worth it. Every weekend I'm like, okay, I have this to look forward to. And I thoroughly enjoy watching it. So if you're looking for something to watch this weekend, Miss Night, Miss Day at Night is something you could consider on Netflix. What am I listening to? Oh, get you, oh, get you, come on. So I, I was playing this song and then somebody asked me, oh, why are you singing this like a worship song? And I was like, there has been a cut because when I listen to songs, yeah, even the most worldly song is about the love of God that I'm hearing in this song. It's a weird dynamic, but I love it for myself because it keeps me in check. So when I'm singing that okay, chi, it's not okay, chi or chi or ma, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. But anyway, okay, chi, the remix with David O, one of the things that I'm, that's on my playlist recently. Another thing is, by Olamide, Mo Warore, Mo Roe. It's so hard to say. Mo Warore, 
冇 worry。Anyway, it's by Lava Day. It's on Spotify. If you need to listen to it, I'm gonna write it over here for you. Listen to it. So good. And then finally, transformation worship and my guy Prince Emmanuel. Look at my fruits. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at my fruit. That's such a jam. It's a gospel song. I love it for me. I love it for the gospel. I love it for Christians. Listen to it if you're looking for something to listen to this weekend. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you found this video exciting. Now you know me better. Let me know what you want to see on my channel because I am here to stay, and you too must be here to stay. Amen. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments. All the subscriptions, all the shares. You guys are the real MVPs, and let's make this money.